Happy Monday. Internet land. We just got back from the gym. Went super hard. Time to cook dinner. Making tilapia and some veggies. And that's about it. I uploaded my last week's vlog today. So hopefully you guys have checked that out. We just left the gym, I'm making dinner, and it's one of those dinners that we need to go to grocery store. We need to go to the grocery store, and um, ooh, this fr oh, my makeup's terrible, but this refrigerator light is bomb. Oh, Jordan, my little cousin Jordan does this, I think. Jordan, I'm letting your secrets out. She goes to the fridge for pictures. Um, anyways, it's one of those dinners that we don't really, oh, dirty dishes, welcome to my life. Um, we don't really have like, we just have random stuff because we need to go to the grocery store. So I'm making a random dinner <laughs> tonight. Just a crap ton of vegetables, like in a skillet, and then chicken. So anyways, I haven't filmed all day today, so I was just going to say hi, and I hope your day was good. And I'll talk to you later. Bye. Good morning, world. Oh my gosh. I'm so tired. I know I told you guys before, I don't have to get up before 9 a.m. like ever. It's 7.19 and I'm awake. I didn't go to sleep until like almost 2. Ugh. I'm so tired right now. I'm such a baby. I know this is like, these are normally, normally, I can't even talk. I don't even know what I'm saying. I know these are normal functioning hours for most humans, but for me, it's so hard. It's so, so hard. But anyways, I am up because I'm meeting my mom at like 8 30 uh, I'm gonna go run some errands with her and do some stuff and I decided I was gonna go ahead and like film like a little um, makeup video so I wanted to like just film myself getting ready the makeup routine I'm gonna do today so I thought about that last night and I was like I'll just get up really early and I'll film like a get ready with me you know like thinking it's a great idea and then seven o'clock hits and I'm like oh this is a terrible idea <laughs> I haven't filmed a makeup video yet and I need to put it up tomorrow, so I forced myself out of bed, and here I am. Well, we just left Alta. We got some goodies. Mom got some goodies. We went to Sephora, and we went to Dillard's. These lights are on. Your door's not shut. Oh. There you go. Now we're happy little ladies. Now we're gonna go do mom's hair. <laughs> I think every girl's happy after she leaves Ulta and Sephora and Dillard's and all kinds of makeup stores. Happy girls. Okay, well I just wanted you guys to meet my mom. Here she is, the beautiful Hi. Liz. <laughs> you know what I think the most cruel thing ever is the fact that there's a Little Caesars right next door to our gym. So every day, I'm in the gym, like the treadmills face the window so you can see out the window when you're on the treadmill. So when you're on the treadmill, you see people like that are constantly walking out of Little Caesars with crazy bread and pizzas and pop and all this bull crap while you're sitting there sweating away and then you walk out of the freaking gym and then all you smell is Little Caesars pizza. I mean, all you want to do is walk over there and buy yourself a pizza but no because you just worked your butt off in the gym it's cruel it's absolutely cruel but at the same time it's worth it I guess like yesterday I was on the treadmill and I kept seeing people walk out of Little Caesars and I was like oh they're so lucky oh they're so lucky and then uh, I saw this guy and he walked out and he had two pizzas in his hand and he was getting into his car and he dropped his pizza on the ground and the box came open and the pizza came out and I was like, oh my gosh, that's what you get, man, for eating pizza right in front of a gym. That's what you get. I did it, workout done. I did back and biceps today. My lower back is uh, pretty tight right now. It's not feeling too great. That's all right, it's okay. All right, now I gotta go home and cook dinner. Good morning people 
Um, I, my hair's crazy. I don't know why I always tell you guys that. I don't care. Man, I'm doing life right now, okay? I haven't straightened it yet. But I just wanted to address some things, okay? Okay. Like, you guys know, like, I set a goal. And I feel like I'm gonna cry. What is, what is wrong with me? I think I'm hormonal. <laughs> I don't know. But I set a goal, you guys know, to lose 10 pounds a month every, uh, every month until August, okay? Well, I feel like that was like setting myself up for failure. Because one, like I said in the very beginning of this, I don't want set numbers. And then I set a number. Like that's that was number one dumb idea. Um, number two, I feel like when you're losing weight the way I am losing, where the way I am choosing to lose weight, which is like 110% the all natural way, <laughs> the way I'm eating and then working out, I feel like that it's almost like, again, setting yourself up for failure because I, I'm not going to be lewd, like I was just telling Tony, like, and I've gotten to where like it is addicting for me to get on the scale. And I get on the scale every single morning. As soon as I wake up, I go to the bathroom and then I get on the scale. That's every single morning. And I am so hard on myself. If it has not went down, I am so hard on myself. From yesterday to today, I've gained four ounces. Four ounces. Like, that's how hard I watch this scale. And I, um, I obviously can't talk and do my makeup, so I'm just going to talk, I guess. Um, so anyways, I, um... Yesterday, I got on the scale, I knew what my weight was. So yesterday, all day long yesterday, I didn't even really want to eat because I feel like that my weight loss right now is moving slower than it was in January, which of course it is. Like that was my first like initial like exercising and eating right. Like I was, I gave up pop. I um, haven't had pop in over a month. Um, I lost water weight. I've, you know what I mean? Like of course your first, especially like 10 pounds or whatever, um, are gonna go fast. So, in February, today's like the, I don't even know what today is, the 11th or 12th or something. I've only lost three pounds in those, like, you know, a couple weeks. Almost two weeks. So, uh, I'm, like, so, like, disappointed in myself, I guess. And I've been so angry, like, thinking, like, I should be even faster with this. I'm, you know, I don't have much of the month left and I still have to be down 10 pounds and, like, all this stuff. And it's, like, that's all I can focus on. And so whenever it comes to, like, eating, I don't even want to eat. Like, I know, like, they say, like, to, you know, like, a healthy uh, way to eat is to eat, like, several meals, small, several, se several small meals a day. Like, breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner, or whatever. I don't know. Well, like, I won't do that because I don't want to put calories in my body. And so I'll eat like a small lunch and I don't even want to eat a snack. And then at dinner time, I will eat like chicken and a vegetable and like I, that's it. And I don't get full and I can, I go to bed hungry every single night, which is fine. Um, if I knew I was actually getting the right, right nutrition, like I still go to bed feeling guilty because I even ate dinner. Like that's what I'm doing to myself mentally. And I, that's so silly. And I started thinking about this, like if I'm gonna set and like document what I'm doing and stuff like that, like I have to tell myself like that's ridiculous and stop feeling that way. Because I'm hurting myself in the long run because I'm hurting myself mentally. Like this whole thing was to be positive and to be healthy mentally as, just as well as being phys like physically healthy. And I'm damaging my mental health by like being so hard on myself. And so I text Tony this morning and I was like, like, I'm so mad. Like, I feel like I'm working my butt off and I'm hardly eating anything and I'm still up four ounces today. And he texts me back and he's like, you can't measure, you know, like gain or loss, like by weight, you have to, you have to do it by measurement. So we measured January 19th and then we decided that we're going to start measuring like every month on the 19th, I guess, because that's when we started. So I haven't seen my measurement since then and I haven't seen that what in, like inches that I've lost or anything like that. Um, but like I'm weight training, so I'm using, you know, like I'm using weights, I'm lifting, I'm those kind of things. So I'm building my muscles and that's what Tony's trying to get me to understand. And I know that, like you hear that your whole life, muscle weighs more than fat. Like I know that, but in my brain, I have like attached myself so much to like the scale. 
And I think that I've, I've set myself up for failure because that's what it is. I could have gained four pounds of solid muscle, not four pounds, four ounces of solid muscle. And I'm still mad about it because it wasn't losing four ounces of fat on the scale, in my opinion, like in my mind. When I know that like muscle eats fat and da, 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 and all these things, like I know that my, like I can tell by looking in the mirror, my clothes are not fitting anymore. Like I, I know that I'm losing, but like that number, my mind is so attached to that number. And I think like it's, it's disgusting. That's how I've gotten. And I feel like that that's so many people in the world have gotten that way. And I guess like, I, I'm obviously trying to tell myself like chill on the number, like get over it girl. And number two, anybody who watches this, like, don't focus on that. Like, focus on how you feel. Focus on how your clothes fit. Focus on how, when you look in the mirror, like, what you see. Don't focus on this number on the stupid scale that you look at every morning that's going to dictate how your day goes. That's so dumb. And I'm, like, I don't know. Like, it's obviously, like, I'm annoyed by it right now. Obviously. But I just, like, it literally woke up in a good mood knowing, hey, it's Friday. It's a good day. Like, you know, like, in a great mood, and then I get on the scale and I see that it went up four ounces, and I feel like it ruined my day. That's dumb. Like, I'm, like, I'm ashamed of that. And so, I guess what I want to tell you guys now is I'm dropping the... And even saying this, I feel like I'm a failure. <laughs> my camera, I'm getting, like, lower and lower, sorry. I feel like I'm being a failure by even saying this, but... I'm gonna I'm dropping the losing 10 mount 10 pounds a month thing because that's hurting me mentally and if I lose 10 pounds a month that's awesome but I what I realize is like my goal is to look good in a swimsuit in August but um, I need to realize that I can look damn good in a swimsuit without losing 10 pounds a month because it's not about the pounds it's about the shape of my body and it's about the tone of my body and those things and you can't measure those things on a scale and I so I am now I will still let you guys know like um, I don't know how I'm gonna do it I don't know how I'm gonna do it I'll maybe someday I'll post progress pictures um, I'll still talk about what I do and stuff like that but I'm not gonna name numbers anymore like maybe I'll tell you um, like the once a month I told Tony I'm not getting on the scale anymore and except for the once a month whenever we measure and I'll get on the scale then. So maybe once a month I'll give you a monthly update of my inches and my weight loss. Like the what I've lost. Um, maybe that's the healthiest, mentally healthiest way to do it. Because this is not good. And I don't want this for anybody. <laughs> for you to measure your worth. Not only your weight. Measure your worth on a scale. So, I don't know. A rant. I, I've been talking for nine minutes and 33 seconds. I, I better go. I got to get ready for work. But um, I just want to let you guys know that <laughs> work hard. It'll pay off. And nothing else in this world will show you that besides you looking in the mirror. That's all. Is if you look in the mirror and you like what you see, then that's awesome. That's all you need to work for. Okay. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Friday night at the gym. I don't want to be here, and I want to go and reference saying, <laughs> no, no, I want to go and record saying Tony's a bully, <laughs> bully, bully, bully. <laughs> He's a monster. Happy Valentine's Day! Okay, I wanted to show you guys. I'm making a blackberry cobbler. Can you see it in there? <gasps> I've never made one before, so I'm kind of nervous how it's gonna turn out. I have no idea. And then Tony's out here. Great. Oh, oh, trying here. Oh, they're grilling for us. We're doing steaks and stuff, and I'm making the cobbler. Um. March will be nine years that Tony and I have been together and we have never 
went out on Valentine's Day. We always stay in and cook dinner. Hmm. Because we don't buy presents for Valentine's Day, stuff like that. Like, we're not really, we actually don't really celebrate Valentine's Day. We kind of, we just cook dinner here at the house because we don't want to spend money on a stupid holiday. So, yeah, anyways, just wanted to say happy Valentine's Day and hope you guys had a great week and you guys will be seeing this tomorrow. So, see you. I hope you guys are enjoying my new video schedule that it's uh, Thursdays and Mondays. I hope you guys are enjoying that. So, hopefully I can keep it up. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow. We just watched The Walking Dead. Tonight was season premiere, and holy moly, that's so stressful. Has anybody else watched that? And were you freaking out whenever they were killing off a million people within like two seconds of each other? <sighs> My anxiety. I thought Glenn was gonna die again. It was bad. God, that's over with. But it was good. I'm interested. I'm ready for next week. <laughs>